Having low iodine can lead to multiple problems, multiple signs and symptoms, and even medical conditions. In order to verify that you have low iodine, you'll have to make a trip to your doctor, but there are signs that you can look for in your own self to detect whether you may or may not have an iodine deficiency, which is very important to know. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and that's what this video is about. Now, I'm gonna tell you nine signs that you can look for in yourself or in your family or loved ones, friends or neighbors. And the last one is a sign that although quite common, is very often overlooked even by medical doctors. And so I want you to watch all of these and make sure that neither you or your family have any of these signs. As you're watching this video, if you notice a sign that your family member or your friend has, please consider sharing this video with them. It might help them uncover a hidden iodine deficiency that they could then correct and have greatly improved health. Iodine is a very, very important mineral that all human beings need, regardless of whatever diagnosis they may have. Everyone thinks that iodine is only involved with thyroid function, and that's actually not true at all. I've got another video on this channel about uh, everything that iodine does and just how important it is in the human body. And it's much more common than it should be with people eating a modern diet that they have an iodine deficiency that neither they nor their doctor knows about. And that's not okay. It's not in any way conducive to optimize health. And so here's how you can tell. I'm gonna go through these signs one at a time and I want you to think about yourself and your, your loved ones and make sure you don't have any of these signs. Now, many of these signs it's true, can be in, caused by other conditions, other diagnoses, other deficiencies, but they are all absolutely can be related to an iodine deficiency. Number one is fatigue or chronic tiredness. And so if you've got a good night's sleep and you know you're eating a good diet, but you're still just tired all the time or fatigued, that could be an iodine deficiency. Number two is unexplained weight gain. So if you've really tightened up your diet and you know you're eating the proper human diet and only real food and you're not eating processed junk, but you're still not losing weight like you think you should, or you're, you've still gained weight, even eating that diet, you may have an iodine deficiency. Number three is carbohydrate cravings. And so many, many people who are trying to improve their health with a low carbohydrate, a keto or a carnivore diet, notice that they still crave carbohydrates and that can actually be a sign of iodine deficiency. Number four, another big one is hair loss. And so if you're eating a diet that should be giving you all the fatty acids and amino acids that are needed to make beautiful, luxurious hair, but you ain't got that, you might have an iodine deficiency. Remember, every cell in your body needs iodine for proper function, including the cells in your hair follicles. Number five is chronically cold hands and cold feet, and even just being cold all the time, but definitely if you always have cold hands and cold feet, even in a warm room or even out in the sun, you may have an iodine deficiency. Number six is a depressed mood. Now this can lead to clinical depression or it can just be a just a depressed mood where everything's going great in your life but you're still just kind of down in the dumps all the time. That can be an iodine deficiency. Number seven is dry skin. This is quite common in iodine deficiency because even your skin cells need iodine for proper function. So dry skin can absolutely be a sign of iodine deficiency. Number eight is brain fog or trouble with your memory. And I'm not talking about dementia here. I'm talking about you just forget stuff more often than you feel like you should, more often than your family members forget things. You may have an iodine deficiency. And now the last symptom, which is more common than it should be, is always related with an iodine deficiency, and that's a goiter. So your thyroid is right here in, your, in the front of your neck. And go and look in the mirror after you finish this video and maybe watch the next one about iodine-rich foods that I'm gonna pop up here, here at the end of this video. 
Go and look in the mirror, and if you see a subtle, and it can be quite subtle, a subtle fullness here in the front of your neck, and when you swallow, this doesn't move, but behind it, your your tracheal and your your uh, pharyngeal cartilage moves, then you may have a gorder, and this is often missed by healthcare providers and even medical doctors if it's not very large. Now, if it gets big enough, any doctor can spot a gorder across the room. But if it's if it's slight and subtle, many doctors will miss that. Now, if you wanna learn which foods are rich in iodine, I'm gonna pop that video up here, here at the end of this video, and I want you to check that out uh, because you can get plenty of iodine in your diet if you know which foods to eat to get it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please take a second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I get a new idea for a video, you'll get a notification from YouTube. Also, don't forget to check out my book, Lies My Doctor Told Me. It contains lots of other useful information that's a lot like this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget you can share this if you have someone you care about who has some of these signs or symptoms. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.